just got back from a little journaling session in the park because I wanted to take this afternoon and just mentally prepare myself for 2024. Really just taking a look at the past year, reflecting on it, and figuring out exactly how I want to come into 2024. In general, what sorts of goals am I looking at for the new year? And just kind of like preparing myself for that with a few reflective exercises. So I just reflected on my 2023 goals and just kind of overarchingly thought about what I want 2024 to look like. And I will be completely honest with you guys, it feels like I have been putting in 75% effort in every single area of my life and I have been living on, I don't even know, not even autopilot. Like I have just been half-assing it. And there's obviously moments where I put in 100% effort, but it feels like in every area of my life, I am just not reaching my fullest potential. And I'm not saying that I want to work all of the time because that is not what I want. But what I want is to focus on what I am doing in that moment. So if I am working on YouTube, I want to be 100% focused and committed on working on YouTube. If I am relaxing or spending time with friends or spending time with Brandon, I want to be 100% in that moment and putting 100% effort into that thing that I am doing. And I do not feel like I'm living my life that way right now. So that's kind of the overarching thoughts that I have moving forward. But I did want to go over my 2023 goals. So for my 2023 goals, we'll just go over them real quick. Get monetized on YouTube, film a wedding, one freelance editing job, a trip to Europe, and save $10,000. I accomplished two of those goals. I got monetized on YouTube, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. And I did, well, my husband and I saved $10,000. We also got out of debt, which wasn't even a goal on here because I just kind of took it as a given that we were gonna get out of debt this year, but we did get out of debt, which is amazing. But specifically the film a wedding and one freelance video editing job, I wanted to talk about those because this is why I am doing this right now. This is why I am sitting down and really thinking about what I want because looking back, I don't know. Okay, I actually do know. I set those goals because I did not believe that content creation and YouTube were actually possible to make money. I did not believe that I could make money on YouTube or anywhere else online. And therefore I set those goals because they felt safe to me. So I didn't end up accomplishing them because my heart wasn't really in them. Like, yes, it would be really cool to film a video. I mean, to film a wedding because I love videography. I love weddings. And in another life, yes, that would be great. But that is not actually what I want to accomplish with my life. I want to make money online creating content, period. That is what I want to do. Are there other goals that I have that maybe will come alongside that once I am like fully monetized? Yeah, but those goals completely out of left field and they were not what I really wanted. They were not aligned with the life that I want, which is why I am taking this time to really think about what I want and what I want my life to look like. All of that being said, I do have a couple other exercises that I want to do with myself this afternoon to get myself in a really good headspace for actually setting the goals that I have for 2024, which we will do in a separate video. This is just me mentally preparing for doing that. So the next thing is I am going to make two lists. I got this from a blog post, which I'll have a link down below where she shares several different exercises to like mentally prepare yourself or like set goals basically. But this is basically you make two lists. The first list is what your life is like right now. You go through every category of your life, relationships, career, fitness, all of those things. And you write down exactly what your life looks like in those areas right now. 
And then you look at your future self, your dream reality. You could do this a year from now, you could do this five years from now, 10 years from now, whatever. I'm gonna be focusing on doing it as of the end of 2024. So December 31st, 2024, what do I want my life to look like? I'm gonna write those down on a, one piece of paper and I'm gonna compare these two lists. And when we're done with that, we're gonna see how I can bridge the gap. And that's really gonna set me up for success when I plan my goals, because I am going to set goals that are going to get me to the dream reality that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now and hopefully drink my tea because I <laughs> drank this while I was at the park and I literally spit it out because it was so hot. If anyone saw me, it was probably ridiculous. And it's a good thing I was outside um, because I just spit it into the grass, but hopefully this is cold enough now. Okay, it didn't burn me, we're good. I'm gonna get to work on this though. <sighs> okay, finished that up. I focused on career, fitness, finance, relationships, and overall well-being. And some things that stick out majorly are my income, my focus in fitness, effort in relationships, and my connection to my purpose. Those are gonna kind of be my bigger focuses for 2024. I won't go into specifics of income, but it's gotta come up because Brandon and I really want to buy a house, probably not next year, realistically, but the year after that, uh, our lease is up in May and I just realistically do not think that we're going to be ready to buy a house by May and I don't know, the market's so insane. But in order to achieve that goal, I have to make more money. And I mean, I already knew that. You guys know that I'm looking for other jobs, I'm looking at other income sources, but I definitely need to make more money. I would love for a huge portion of that to come from content creation. I have set kind of some general parameters of what I kind of want that to look like, but I'll set more specifics later on. And then my overall focus and fitness, I, you guys know I work out like four to five days a week. I feel really solid with my fitness routine. The only thing is um, I am getting a little bit older. And if I'm honest, this past week my shoulder has been hurting and I have not been lifting up her body. And today my other shoulder is hurting. So I need to focus more on mobility and stretching. This I used to be so good at this, but I just want a little bit better of a break between lifting, cardio, and mobility. So I put down on here that I would ideally, by the end of next year, love to say that I spend 60% of my time lifting, 20% of my time with cardio, and 20% of my time with mobility and stretching. That's probably going to end up being a goal for next year, but I just want a little bit more, you know, I want to take care of myself, not just building muscle, which is so important, but I want to be able to continue to build muscle throughout the entirety of my life, and doing what I'm doing right now isn't going to work. So I will probably not focus too much time on relationships. I know I need to do this, and I am I'm trying to do this but I I just realistically know with the other goals that I have going into next year and what I want my life to look like I will not be able to devote as much time as I want to relationships but I do want to just be better at reaching out and staying in contact instead of spending time with a friend once every quarter ideally monthly would be great so just kind of looking at that getting focused on that and then my overall well-being. I wrote that right now I just don't feel connected to my purpose. I kind of wake up and I go about my day and I have my routines in place, but I don't know why I have my routines in place. I don't know what I'm working towards. So by the end of next year, I would really like to be able to wake up and know what my purpose is, know what I am working towards, be focused on the overall purpose of my life and what I am doing every day, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, I have one last writing exercise that I want to do with myself, and that is to write a letter to my future self. So, my purpose with this is to really motivate myself to stick to the life that I want to have by the end of 2024. I'm going to date the letter 12-31-24, and I'm gonna open it at the end of next year and I, I want to make this version of me proud. So I'm gonna put my hopes, I'm gonna put my dreams, I'm gonna put what I hope to accomplish next year 
and I want to keep that in my sights every single day of next year. I want to stay so focused on that version of myself that I am working for every single day. And I, I, I wanna put it somewhere where I'm gonna see it every single day and just be really connected to that version of myself. Cause I'm working my little booty off for 2025, Stacy. Is the B-roll for this video just gonna be me writing things? Mostly, we do have one other thing that we're gonna do as well. So just bear with me for the moment. this year and moving into 2024. This is my last exercise for this video. It's the next day, made breakfast, got myself a little cup of coffee just a little bit ago, and I am going to dive on into this. I have a little jazzy background music queued up on the TV, so I'm going to start that as soon as I'm done filming because obviously I don't want to get copyrighted. And I'm very excited to dive into this. Of course, we've all heard of vision boarding as a way to set yourself up for success for your goals. And I'm a huge fan of doing so, and I'm really gonna try to focus on the things that I want to manifest into my life this year. I did make one of these last year, but again, the goals that I created weren't necessarily aligned with the life that I really want. So I'm really gonna try to be very broad in what I'm looking for. I'm really going to focus on like house. So obviously I can have some like maybe dream houses, what that might look like. And then also just kind of the vibe that I'm going for, which is working hard, but still having kind of that balance and that relaxation. And I always like to have nature elements because I love connecting with nature. So we're going to dive onto Pinterest and pull up a little Canva board and see what we can come up with. And then I will probably make this my uh, desktop background and then maybe also pull some of the same photos and make a phone background as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this. I love doing like mood boards and vision boards. It's so much fun and it makes it so easy because you can literally go onto Pinterest grab the pen and just drag it to the tab that you have Canva open in and it literally will just drop the photo in there. And when I realized that, it like revolutionized my vision boarding. You don't even have to save the photo. You literally just drag and drop. And I love it so much. So I'm gonna sip on my coffee, have a little moment and get myself prepped for the coming months and the entirety of next year. Finished my vision board. I do definitely think I will probably end up changing a few things on this as I kind of solidify my goals a little bit more before the end of the year, but just some of the things I highlighted on here, I have like a really nice kitchen that I would love to have someday. Will our house that we are working to buy look like that? No, but it's one step closer to that. And then also a living room. And then just a quaint little like outside house. And that was kind of my focus on home and then I put some like working on a laptop things and like a hot girl walk because I would love to have more walks in my future and then 
just someone doing like some self-care and someone reading on a Kindle because I do think one of my goals for the new year is going to be to read a specific number of books and then time blocking on Google Calendar because that's part of my focusing like 100% of my effort which I have 100% effort on here and like time blocking and being intentional with my time and then a cute little picnic with some friends because I would love to go on some picnics and if we could incorporate some spending time with friends in that that would be amazing before I end this video I do just really want you want to encourage you to spend time not just focusing on the numbers or the results or kind of like the more solid part of goal planning. I really think that it is important to focus on just the general zoomed out view of your life. And I talked about this a lot in my last video, how you want to feel and what that life feels like. I feel like for me, I am not the kind of person that likes to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. I love setting monthly goals, y'all know. I do monthly goals, I love monthly goals, but it's really hard for me to zoom out and really like dream. That is not my thing. I am not a dreamer. I am a what can I do to dare. And that is great. Like I think that that my personality, that part of my personality has really made it possible for me to achieve some of my goals and really stick to the day-to-day -day grind because I love the day-to-day -day grind. But it's so easy for me to lose sight of where I'm headed and like my bigger purpose in life. And I think that that is really something that I want to focus on a lot more. And doing these exercises that I did today have helped me do that so much. So I really encourage you to do these exercises. Um, I feel like most of us have probably made a vision board, but especially the two lists. I think that that is, I've never heard of doing that before. And I think that that was so helpful for me to really zoom out, but then also look at what are the day-to-day -day things that I need to do in order to get to that point. So hopefully this video was helpful. I did also make a lemonade post on this and I plan on making some more lemonade posts related to goal setting and all of those things. So make sure that you're following me on lemonade. And of course, make sure you're subscribed if you are not already and like this video, do all of the things that you guys are so great at doing. I will be probably taking a break from some of these like preparing for 2024 things because in all honesty, I don't think you guys are ready for them yet because these videos have not been performing very well. So we're gonna be going back to productive days in the life and all the things that you guys normally see from my channel, which I'm excited for because it's been a little while since I did a productive day in my life. So all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.